Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to connect up your PlayStation 3 DualShock 3 or your 6 axis controller to your Windows machine to use it on the CXBX Reloaded emulator which is a original Xbox emulator. So to do this is pretty simple. You obviously need a DualShock 3 or a 6 axis. You'll need a mini USB cable, just where you use the charges, so I'm sure you've got one of them. And if you don't want it wireless, you can just do wired and that's fine as well. You'll still need to install some software. But if you want it wireless, you'll need a Bluetooth dongle, which I've just disconnected. One thing to bear in mind is that when you set up this software to use your PS3 controller, the Bluetooth dongle will basically be overridden. So you can't use it on other devices. It'll be specifically for your DualShock. What that means is essentially if you have a Bluetooth or a key i mean if you have a mouse or a keyboard that uses bluetooth and you are using it via this dongle you're kind of out to look so i've got a wired keyboard my wireless bluetooth i mean well my wireless mouse has its own dongle so this won't interfere with it because i can you know, still move stuff around that's you know a-okay i can minimize this now actually so what i would recommend is that you get an extra bluetooth dongle whether you're blue built in or or a usb anyway get an extra one for a few quid a few dollars off amazon or ebay and just have that dedicated for stuff like this okay so i'm gonna plug this back in okay and now what we need to do is download something called scp toolkit and i will provide a link in the description to this if you google it you want to go to the source forge link that is has the latest version just click download i've already <coughs> sorry I've already got it downloaded, so it will literally start in a couple of seconds. I'm just gonna cancel it because I've already got it. So now what you wanna do is open this up. It's a pretty straightforward setup process. And yeah, just go through that. Feel free to put it somewhere else if you want. I'm gonna leave it in the default directory, click next, and we'll Bluetooth pair utility, yeah, we'll, we'll select that one. That could be useful. Some, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. And yeah, everything else you can just leave. It just pops up, just click yes. And it shouldn't take too long to install. And also, while this installs, we'll open up set the setup USB game controls window so we can actually see if it's correctly set it up or not. And we can do run driver installer. One second, I'm going to minimize this. Okay, so with this, we want to choose the Bluetooth dongle. So I know my dongle, I think it's that one there, I said I know, and then I'm there, I think. The easy way to find out, if you literally just type in device manager, go to Bluetooth, and it'll be there. So if I want to say BCM 2702, there you go, that is the one. So I just want to click that and for the DualShock 3 let's we got to actually connect this up so let's connect it up I've got to try and connect it the right way first I'm going to exit that. I'm going to reopen it with this install. I mean, this connected. So my controller should appear there now. There we go. So just make sure it's connected. And you can just, you know, reopen the installer right there or from down here. SCP. And then the driver installer. So you can reopen that. It's good for setting up DualShock 4 controllers as well for some stuff. It doesn't work plug and play. So select your Bluetooth dongle, which is this one. Remember, this will override the dongle as well. Also, if you're on Windows with Vista or 7, this will not be grayed out and you need to select this as well. So remember, this will override your Bluetooth dongle. So click install. Yeah, I'll just wait patiently. Now I want this open as well so I can just see what's happening.
Yeah, I should not have selected the DualShock 4 controller. Hopefully that doesn't mess things up. It's only really meant to deselect it. Might just close it down. I'll wait a few seconds. If not, I'll force shut it down, reopen it, and I'll redo it. But we meant to deselect that one. <laughs> do, 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 do. No, it's, it's carrying on, so it's all good. Should be all good, hopefully. And yeah, I'll, I'll show you something else after. It's not really crucial, but we'll actually just go to the Bluetooth menu and show the, the Bluetooth isn't working anymore. If you've got more than one device, then yeah, it will still be working. So yeah, just patiently waiting. So you're gonna make sure you have the SCP open while you use the controller. Okay, so there we go. It's detected it there. We can close these down. Okay, so we can actually exit this now. Like I said, make sure you do not exit out of that. Because if I do exit. Um, Oh, controller still appear on there. That's all right then. Before he would have. So just go to properties. As you can see, it is all working. Let's actually unplug it. And now let's go to properties. Let me open up that tray. Let me reconnect this. So I'm just going to press this, paired the Bluetooth device. There we go. So just make sure you press the PlayStation button as well while it is connected via USB. Now, if I go to properties, it all works fine. But those train notifications let you know if everything's a okay anyway. So I can close this down. And like I said, I was gonna show you, if we go to Bluetooth, so I've only got the one dongle. If I go to add Bluetooth device, it'll say I haven't got you know any Bluetooth anymore. And so if you do want to uninstall what we've just done, reverse that, then you just go down to here. You merely just click uninstall and it will uninstall what you need to uninstall. So you just go down here, select your Bluetooth dongle, and you can, I haven't connected this anymore, but you can uninstall the DualShock 3 driver as well. I don't want to do that. Now we can open up the CXPS Reloaded Emulator, go to Config Input, and go to Configure. From here, just select Gamepad. If it doesn't appear, just click Refresh. And now we can start mapping everything. So I can, I'm actually going to go to, uh, I'm gonna choose a different profile. So I'd say PS3 controller, PS3 controller. I'm gonna go to clear. And now just start mapping everything. And these will be that one. Again, you don't have to have it in the same sort of order that you would have done on your original Xbox controller. You could change things around. You could put the face button on the D-pad, the D-pad on the right hand long stick, whatever you want. That's one of the benefits of emulators. So for the black and white buttons, I'm gonna use R1 and L1. And back or you select start and now the left stick. And then we'll click, then click, right, down, up. Okay, now the D-pad. So up, down, left, right. I always make the joke, but it's like we're doing a cheat in GTA 3. So the up, down, left, right, L1. Maybe L1, L1, L2, L1, L, R2. Then triangle, I can't remember now. So something like, like that. Now the triggers, so the left trigger, now the right trigger. Save it, 
we have a profile now so we can just select that profile click close and obviously if you want to configure for a duke or a s that's totally up to you and you can do it for port 234 as well so that's a okay as you can see it appears there but make sure you click save uh, now we can just launch up a game so if i just launch up shrek 2 start it up to turn the volume down and you'll pop it with the dreambox logo and i'll be able to skip it with a which is map to x on my ps3 controller and let's get into here so as you can see we can move up and down we can select stuff we can go back and that's it so that is how you connect up your ps3 dualshock 3 or your six axis controller wired and wireless to your windows machine for the cxbx reloaded emulator which is an original xbox emulator if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message there'll be linked to my discord page my website in the description so feel free to check that out and as usual I look forward to seeing you in the next video.